What is politics? Ask him. That you must have talked about it. I don't remember. Well, perhaps he's sort of neutral. Yes, possibly. What I've heard described as a political vacuum waiting to be filled. Look, Mr. Summers, Dennis and I grew up in the 50s. You'd have to have been mentally deficient not to have made some comment on the world situation and the people in power. And you wouldn't be likely to stick to somebody who didn't think what you thought, I imagine, madam. I was at college when I joined C, N, D, if that's what you mean. But you always felt that way. In what way? No bombs. So does everyone say. Including Mr. Sage. I didn't say that. I won't be made ashamed to have decent feelings, and I won't be made to appear to incriminate someone I like. It isn't him you want to find out about, it's me, isn't it? Me easily find out about him, he's nothing to hide. But you gave your name, that's why I'm asking you. Because he was always a bit solitary, that's all. But you don't know what he's like now, do you? Yes, I do, I do. People don't change. You don't have to see someone or even write to them. I want you to go. Certainly, madam. No, don't. I'm sorry. He, he might lose the job, and I, I wouldn't want that. Tell you what. You have a chat with him, and I'll call back. It's only fair to you, isn't it? Fair? Well, you wouldn't want to find that, in all good faith, of course, you'd given us the wrong idea, would you? So that's what you came for? No, it just occurred to me. We want to be fair. Well, do you mean that? I mean, you won't hold it against him because I lost my temper. No, oh, why should I? It's not you after the job, is it? And by the way, he, he didn't mention the job on the phone. Well, you know he didn't. That's why I asked you. Well, he's sure to tell you when you see him, so there's no harm in my mentioning it now, is there? To be fair. Well, what is the job? Chemical warfare research. 